students today we'll start with book 1 module 1 algebra checker progress 1.5 write the first three digits of the decimal representation of the following root 2 okay so we have to find the value of root 2 and how we'll find so you, you just let me give a recap how can you find root 2 okay if this is 0 this is 1 and uh, we know Pythagoras right if 1 square plus 1 square okay equals to under root 1 plus 1 2 so uh, this 1 and this 1 represents in number line this is x and this is y so 1 in x axis and 1 in y axis okay and this is the hypotenuse so when you do 1 square plus 1 square we get under root 2 after that so this is 2 taking an arc when we will take an arc it will strike somewhere here okay this point is root 2 okay this point is root 2 now how we will do numerically now let us take <coughs> 2 here when you will uh, see 2 you have to take 2 okay now set that for first three digits so you have to take one set of zeros two set of zero and three sets of zeros okay in this procedure now for two right we'll first calculate this with what you will multiply the number you'll get two one into one is uh, here you have to multiply with the same number okay to get this number now I have multiplied 1 into 1, 1. See if you multiply 2 into 2 you will get 4 which is greater than 2. So I have multiplied 1 into 1, 1. Now subtract 2 from 1. I got 1. Now this pair of zeros put down. Okay. And for this point put point here. Now you have 100. Okay. Now what will come in this place? Now you have to double this. You have seen 1 right? So you have to multiply with 2. 1 into 2, what you will get? You will get 2. Now again a dash here. Okay. What you will multiply in here and here? You have to multiply with the same number. If you multiply by 5, you have to mul uh, multiply here by 5. So 25 into 5, you will have 125, which is greater than 100. So uh, let's take a lesser number. I have taken 4. 24 into 4, 96 subtract you will get 4 now put this zeros down okay this set okay now again double this number 14 which is what is the double of 14 it is 28 now you have another number what will multiply with the same number to get 400 see if you multiply by 2 you will get uh, uh, 2 uh, suppose 280 2 by 2 okay you will get 2 to the 4 but due to this 2 to the 16 you will get here 5 so you have to take a lesser number I have taken 1 so it is 281 now subtract you will get 118 now again one uh, set of zeros you have for that you have to calculate now 141 what is double of 141 it is 282 again with what you will multiply I have multiplied with 4 so your answer is 1296 subtracting this you get 150 but this is our uh, answer so the first three digits of root 2 equals to 1.414 okay this is the answer and you should always remember the value of root 2 root 3 root 4 that is very important for exam so by heart the number so in case so in during exam you will exactly know with what number you should multiply for fast calculation okay let's go with the next question for root 3 same put 3 here 3 point and 3 sets of zeros now 2 to the 4 so that is greater than 3 so i have multiplied with 1 now uh, remainder is 2 okay first set of 0 i have put down now it is 200 1 into 2 2 and with what i should multiply with the same number to get 200 i have multiplied with 7 which is 189 okay 189 subtracting I have got 11 
now the second set of zero have put down now what is the double of 17 double of 17 is 34 and with what number i should multiply to get uh, a number which is less than 1100 so i have multiplied with 3 see if i multiply with 4 uh, 4 3 is a 12 okay 4 3 is a 12 and here it is 11 so i have multiplied with 3 a lesson number which is 1029 after subtracting i got 7 1 and the third set i have put down now 173 what is the double of 173 it is 3 4 6 and with what number i should multiply i have multiplied with 2 2 <coughs> and the number is 6 9 2 4 hence this is your answer so root 3 equals to 1.732 now one um, someone might have an question how root 3 is formed so you have seen root 3 is nothing but 1 square plus root 2 square okay 1 square plus root 2 square so you have to get x and you have to get a hypotenuse already we know this is root 2 okay this is root 2 okay now how we will get root 3 see from this this is okay from this you have to create a 90 degree you have to create a 90 degree okay you have to create a 90 degree and taking one unit you have to take one unit okay one if this is one centimeter you have to take here also one centimeter now join this okay this is the hypotenuse now one square plus root two square equals to root three okay now this is root three now take an arc okay now take an arc when you take an arc see this will cut the number line somewhere between uh, which, which will be greater than obviously root 2 okay which will be root 2 and where it will cut that will be root 3 in this way you can construct root 3 and you should remember the value of root 3 which will be very helpful for you okay that is root 3 equals to 1.732 next we'll write we'll solve for root 5 so similarly we'll put 5 and set of 3 zeros okay 2 2 is a 4 3 3 is a 6 so we'll take 2 2 is a 4 subtracting we got 100 now double of 2 we get 4 now with 4 what we should multiply so, uh, which will be less than 100 i have multiplied with 2 okay okay 4 3 is a 12 and which is greater than 10 so i have multiplied 2 that is 84 again subtract i have got 16 now uh, put the second pair down and uh, double of 22 is 44 now with what should i multiply to get uh, the number less than 1600 so i multiplied with 3 okay that is 1 3 2 9 subtracting i got 271 now the double of 2 2 3 is 4 4 6 and with what should i multiply i multiply 6 to get 2 6 7 9 6 subtracting i got 3 0 4 hence root 5 equals to 2.236 if uh, if i am very fast go back okay uh, go back watch the video again if you have not understood again go back and watch the video okay in that way you will have a clear vision of root 5 and other root 2 and root 3 okay now how root 5 is constructed so again okay this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 now see how you will get root 5 i have uh, said that 2 2 is a 4 right okay so you know that uh, 1 square plus 2 square will give you 2 to the 4 plus 1 will give you 5 so you have to take two units and one unit so i have taken two units in the x-axis and one unit in the y-axis now join this line this is your root 5 now when you'll draw an arc it will be somewhere near uh, 3 and uh, between 2 and 3 and which is your root 5 so your answer is 2 point something okay 2 point something 2.236 is your ex exact answer but in case you forgot what is the value of root 5 then you can easily get in this way okay now let us represent the following numbers on the real number line root 2 by 2 you already know what is the value of root 2 
1.414 divided by 2 is 0 0.701 7 okay 707 this is 7 707 now let us draw a number line between 0 and 1 now you will ask sir why 0 and 1 and why not 0 to uh, others okay because my dear student because my dear student this value will lie between 0 and 1 okay 0 0.707 lies between 0 and 1 so I will draw a number line which will represent 0 and 1 now from 0 to 1 we can again divide it as 0 0.1 0 0.2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0. Uh, 9 plus point 0.1 is 1.0 1 1.0 1 or it is directly 1 no problem okay now where is point 0.7 here so your 0 0.707 will lie somewhere here okay now let us zoom this okay zoom this part like uh, you have using a magnifying glass zoom this part okay now since this is 0 0.7 0 0.8 by I have written 0 0.70 why because after this um, you can count zeros okay we do not count zeros so this is actually 70 hundred thousand as it is you can count is 0 0.70 it is correct 0 0.700 because after decimal the value of zero is there is no value of zero okay but if I write 0 0.7001 again it is after decimal there are four digits okay this will be counted now from 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 let us draw okay again this can be divided into 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the last one 10 okay now 0 0.7 0 7 0 this is 7 0 so the number 707 will lie between 7 0 and 7 1 okay okay this will lie between this number now again let us zoom this part now 700 zero, zero. okay now we are taking up to three decimal places this is up to one two decimal places this is up to three decimal places now 707 we can see that 707 is here okay so this is your representation on a number line 707 so in exam if you get this question you have to directly draw this part into three parts okay you can uh, if if you have less time you can skip this part okay you can skip the second part but you have to draw the three equally now let us solve one plus root two okay pause this video try it once if you cannot obviously i will solve okay pause the video and solve okay so 1 plus root 2 is 1 plus 1.414 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and uh, okay okay I will uh, tell you something I got an error 1 plus 414 okay one of my students just added in this way 1 plus 415 sir 1 plus 415 is the answer wow wow okay you should know how to um, calculate decimal places this is 1 and this is 1.414 means 1.000 then you add okay in this way we add 414 this is 1 plus 1 2 point okay so 2.414 now let us represent this on number line we have seen 2 okay so 2 point so this 2.414 will lie between 2 and 3 now 2.4 let us find what is 2 point first decimal place 2.4 we see 2.4 1 so this will lie between this okay 24 and 25 now let us zoom this place okay now zoom this line we'll get now up to two decimal place 4 1 now we have to search for 4 1 we, have, we can see that 4 1 is here okay it will lie between 4 1 4 so somewhere between here now let us extend this zoom okay 4 1 0 up to three decimal places now 4 1 4 you have to find 4 1 4 so we can see the 4 and 4 is here and hence this is your answer this is 2.414 okay root 3 by 2 that is very easy it is like root 2 by 2 
okay root 3 is 1.732 divided by 2 will which will give you 0 0.866 okay how one more mistake i will tell you how error someone 1.732 by 2 okay what my students are 7 2 is a uh, 7 8 is a 16 point then 13 so 6 are 13 and 6 8.6 is a 8.66 wow which is very wrong from po one point you have got eight point when you cannot divide by one simply you have to give zero point then this 17 comes after decimal so 2 8 is a 16 carrying 1 13 2 6 are 12 again 2 12 2 6 are 12 0 0.866 now let us represent this on number line which will be from 0 to 1 okay 0 0.8 we have to search 0 0.8 0 so 0 0.8 is here and it will be between this line okay 0 0.866 will be somewhere here let us zoom us zoom it again uh, now second two decimal places two decimal zero uh, point eight zero one two three four we need six eight six eight six okay so eight six will be here so it, the answer will be somewhere between here okay now let us zoom this place up to three decimal places eight zero point eight six six zero point eight six six hence zero point eight six six here is here hence this is your answer okay i guess this is number three so solve the questions if you have not understood go back again okay watch the video this is a, this is very important you should go back and watch the video again and again if you have not understood okay next class we'll go for uh 1.6 i guess okay that will be 1.6 okay see you on the next class this is 0 0.86 See you on the